Now let's look at profit and loss. We all probably already know what profit and loss is. Profit is when we make extra money, when we sell it for something, sell it for a higher price than we bought it. And loss is when it's the opposite. We lose some money because we sell it for cheaper than what we bought it. So starting off with profit, as I said, it's the difference between your selling price and cost price. So when you're, what you bought it for is lower than what you sold it for, the difference will be your profit. So I'll give you an example. John bought a bicycle at $50 and sold it at $70 after repairing it with the repair cost of $12. So pretty much here guys, the selling price is $70 because he's putting it for sale on $70, isn't it? Now his cost price of the bicycle before selling it is his $50 as well as all these repair costs because it might have been damaged in some areas of the bicycle. He repaired it, he fixed it up, but that cost him an extra cost of $12. So together it's included in the cost price which makes $62. So profit will be selling price minus cost price, so 70 minus the 62 which is $8. So that's the profit that we get for selling the bicycle. Now loss. Loss is the exact opposite. It's the cost price minus selling price. So the selling price is lower than the cost price, what you bought it for. That's the loss that you make. So Paul bought a computer at $800 and sold it $500 in six months. So this is what he sold it for and this is what he bought it for. So you can see what he bought it for is a little bit more. So I can say that the cost price is $800, that's what he bought it for, and his selling price is $500. The reason why it's lower is probably because it's second hand, he's used it and it's not new anymore, so definitely the price must be lower. So therefore the loss would simply be the difference, which is $300. That is the loss that he made, okay? A bicycle was bought at $200 and sold it eight months later, making a loss of 35% on the purchase price. Find the loss. Okay, so this person made a loss. And if this is the cost price that he bought it for, he made a 35% loss, which is simply 35% of 200 that we multiply, and he should get $70. So that's the loss. Now in B, we want to find the selling price. So if I made a loss of $70 and I bought it for $200, the selling price would be $200 minus 70, isn't it? It will be less $70. So that's the answer. That's the selling price, $130. A painting was bought for $5,000 and sold it, making a profit of 25%. So the profit would be 25% of the cost price. So I multiply those together and get that, that's the profit. Now in B, I want to find the selling price. Now this person made a profit, so this is how much extra he gets on top of what he bought it for. So we add them together this time, okay? Do not subtract, we're adding. He sold it at this much price, and you can see that's a little bit more than what he bought it for in order to make a profit. The wholesale price of a fridge was $480, and the retail price was 600. Now guys, you must understand what's the difference between wholesale and retail. Retail are like outlets and shops that you see in the shopping mall. But wholesale is like a factory that produces those goods that are gonna be sent to the retail shops. The wholesale is like you can think of as a factory that produces items and retail shops buy goods from the wholesalers and then sell it in retail outlets. That's the difference, so you must understand it. Therefore, the wholesale price must be lower. Retailers wanna make profits, so they buy it from the wholesales and then they sell it for a little bit more than what they bought it for in order to make a profit. So that's why here, the wholesale price is lower than the retail price. So express the profit as a percentage of the wholesale price. So the profit must be the difference. So 600 minus 480 is the profit, which gives you $120. Now they say we want a percentage of the wholesale price. The wholesale price is 480. So that as a percentage out of the 480, we simply multiply by 100 to get that percent. And then we get 25%. So that's the profit of the wholesale price. But now in B, we want to express the profit as a percentage of the retail price. The retail price is 600. So we put the same profit 120, but this time out of 600 and then again multiply by 100 to get the percent, and that's what you get, okay? James bought a camera for $240 and sold it for 180. 
So you can see that she sold it for a little bit less because again, as I said, it's second hand, it's not new. And he sold it for a little less, so he made a loss this time. So we want to find the loss, simply find the difference between the selling price and the cost price. So that's the answer. Sorry, the cost price and the selling price. So it's $60. Now B, express the loss as a percentage of the cost price. So if that's the loss, and we know that the cost price is 240, we simply put 60 over 240 and times it by 100 to get that percentage, 25%, all right? A second-hand car was bought for $8,000 and sold it at a profit of 25%. Although it's second-hand, we're making a profit. Okay, so they're selling it for more. We wanna make a profit of 25%. To find that profit, we simply need to multiply them together. So multiply your price and the 25% to get $2,000. So we get a $2,000 profit. So find the selling price. Guys, as I said, we're making a profit. So our selling price must be larger than the cost price. So if that's the profit that we're making, we add it to the $8,000 and that will be your selling price, okay? Express the profit as a percentage of the selling price. If that's the profit and that's the selling price, we simply put that over that and multiply by 100. So that's what the percentage is, 20%, okay? Nick purchased a house for $780,000 and sold it for this much. Find the profit. So you can see we're making a profit because that is larger than that. Find the difference, selling price minus cost price, and that will be your profit. Calculate the percentage profit, correcting to one decimal place. Now here they simply say percentage profit. Whenever they say percentage profit without being specifically telling you put it over cost price or selling price, over the original price. So the, basically here, the original price of the house that he bought it for, 780,000. So he put the profit over that and then multiply by 100. You should get that. That's the percent profit that we always put over the original amount. If an item is sold at a profit of 400%, find its simplest form the ratio of selling price to cost price. So we're making quite a bit of profit here. We're making 400% profit. Our usual price, our original price of an item, we always consider that as 100%. So if I'm making 400%, basically the selling price is 500%. 400 plus 100%. Okay, so we have an extra 400% on top of the original price, 100%. So that's the selling price that we have here. And now the cost price, the cost price is just the original price of the item, which is simply the 100%. Now you can see that is simplified to 500, so 500 to 100, so simplify them, it should be 5 to 1. That's the ratio of the selling price to cost price. So it's quite a big profit that we're making here. 